today I'm going to replace this gate here. As you can see, this gate has totally had it. I'm going to see if I can re-salvage these really nice old hinges. I need to repair this bottom hinge though. It just needs to be refixed to the post. I'll see if I can re-salvage that nice hinge. I'm going to build this gate purely from recycled wood. These are the items I'm going to use to rebuild the gate. I'm going to use the existing hinges but I'm going to need a new latch. I've got some 4x2s and some feather edge and some timber bolts already left over from my man cave build. This is the plan I drew up. I'm going to refer to the plan during the building of this gate. When I actually came to fit the gate I needed another bit of 4x2 and I also needed another four additional timber bolts. Right, now to sort out all this wood I've got at the side of my shed. I'm going to pull it all out from the side of the shed and have a good look through it and see what I've actually got. I needed to clean all this a lot up anyway. That's a bit clearer down the side of my shed but it's still a bit messy. I think I need to give it a good clear up. Okay, I need two 155cm lengths for the vertical section of the gate. And then I need three 4x2s for the horizontal section. Well, I actually use four in the end. I think I'm going to have to give this wood a good old clean. Okay, now to measure and cut all the pieces I need. First, I'll cut the vertical uprights. Make sure these are the correct length and then cut them to size. Make sure you're wearing your personal protective equipment whilst cutting. I'm going to lay out the sections on the ground as I go. The two vertical uprights and then the horizontal sections. I've cut the vertical sections to 155 centimetres. I'm referring back to my plan and measurements just to make sure I've got everything at the right length. Now to measure and cut the horizontal sections. check and re-measure along the way. They're all laid out now, ready to be bolted together. But first of all, I need to give them a good clean up. I'm gonna be sanding them. I'm gonna use a P40 grade sandpaper. They look much better now. They've got a bit of a rustic look to them now. I didn't want to sand them down too much as it might take some of the wood treatment off. I've got a six mil wood drill bit. I'm gonna drill the pilot holes for the timber bolts to go through. I'm drilling two holes in each of the corners. And then I'm going to measure halfway to where I need to drill two holes for the middle section to go through. I'm using structural timber screws, also known as timber bolts. 6.5mm by 200mm timber thick screws. I've got my hex 
drill bit for the hex screw. Make sure you hold the sections in the right place when bolting this together. I've got my foot on one section to hold this in place. Start with a drill on a slow speed until you get used to this and then you can then put your drill on a faster speed. But you can hear it slipping a bit though. Great, that's that done. It looks quite good already. Right, now to cut the feather edge to the right size. I'm laying all this out just to make sure I've got the right amount. Measure and cut. I'm cutting four pieces of feather edge at a time. It's much quicker doing it this way. I'm not going to fix these to the gate at the moment because I need to transport the gate and it's going to be easier to transport it without all the bits attached to the gate. And then what I'll do once I get to the location, I'll fit all the gate together. Okay, I'm back at the location where I'm going to be fitting the gate. I've made sure the hinges are all solid and secure and the bottom one's fixed. Okay, now to nail the feather edge boards to the gate structure. I'm going to use a nail gun, it's just a bit quicker, but you can use a hammer and nails if you want to. That's all fitted. Okay, now to fit the gate. But hang on, I've come across a problem. The hinges don't line up with the 4x2s exactly, so I need another bit of 4x2 just to go on this bottom section. Great, that's that done. Now make sure it's all lined up. I've put some bricks underneath to make sure it's all at the right height. There's a bit of a gap here, so what I'm going to do is use some other bits of wood as spacers. Then I'm going to make sure it's all level and then I'll be able to screw the hinges in place. Okay, now it's all level and ready to be screwed in place. I've got the correct height by using bricks and some of the old feather edge. I've also wedged out this section here with spacers now it's all ready to be screwed in place. OK, 
Okay, time to take the bricks away. Great, the screws are all in and now it's ready to test the gate. Yeah, that works. The height of the gate was also determined by the base of the garage here. As you can see, it juts out a bit. The gate wouldn't have fully opened if I hadn't set this at the correct height. Okay, now for the latch. Let's see how this fits. Okay, now to screw the retainer for the latch in place. Okay, now for the backplate latch section. Great, that works. Now to drill the hole for the lever section for the thumb latch. I'm going to drill two holes vertically. I'm going to take the lever off again so I can drill the second hole just above the first hole that I drilled. Great, that's that hole drilled. Now to make sure the thumb latch is in place. Line it up and then once it's lined up, screw it in place. Now to test it. Great, that works. I'm going to reuse this lock. Great, that works. That's how you fit a gate using recycled materials. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. It looks quite good for using just recycled materials. Well, that's another job done. Thanks for watching.